Hey, good morning. This is about graphing absolute values, right? Kind of way to think about it is how's an absolute value going to affect a graph? Now think about we're talking about the xy coordinate. So think about that a second, because we're going to answer that particular question. And think about the fact that y will only be positive. Ooh, here we go. Absolute zero. Remember. <laughs> Absolute value will have no values less than zero. Ooh, okay. So first off, let's graph this one here. Now notice the y is on the left, and it says it's greater than or equal to this value right here, meaning this is going to be smaller than our y value, okay, or equal to. So first off, let's do the following. Let's just pretend it's an equal. And how would I graph y equals negative 3x plus 9? Well, my slope is negative 3, or negative 3 over 1, and the y-intercept is 9. So I'm going to put a dot up there at 9, go down 3 over 1, and now then my question is, look, it's got a bar, so that means it's going to be a solid line. Okay, so I know I have that particular graph right there. Now here's the other part. Think of it this way here. This is the same thing as true. Why is going to be here is greater than this, which is also going to be greater than or equal to this negative y. Well, how would I solve the right side? The left side is already kind of done, but this white side with this negative y basically has to have the following. It has to, in a sense, flip sides. Or, if I divide everything by negative 1, just what? Change the sign. And now then I would, uh, to graph this one, or I could write it this way, I still have a 3x minus 9, meaning I'm going to start down at 3, I have a slope of 3 over 1, or my y-intercepts at negative 9, and put a dot there, go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, and still graph it. And notice, look, it's going to cross right there. Or, what might be easier to think is this here. As this line goes down here, because y is not going to be anything negative, just reflect this line back up. So once I get to here, notice the slope's really, it's going down 3, so when I hit here, now it's going to turn around and go what? up 3 over 1. That's probably the easiest way to graph it, is graph the 1, pretend it's an equal. When you get to this line, just reflect it across the y-axis. Now here comes the real question. I'm looking for values now that are what? Where y is what? Greater than this. So if I'm standing right here, where would y be greater? Up here. So that's where I'm going to shade. And I can only shade over to that other line. That is the answer to this particular question right here. That's where it's shaded at. Once again, pretend it's an equal, graph it, then just reflect it across that line right there. It's the easiest way to do it. Or you have to set up what I call the positive answer and for the negative answer, and then solve. And I think it's just easier to graph this line than reflect it than to actually graph the two different lines.